is John Federico with On Digital Media uh, at the Ultra Light Startups uh, event here at the uh, Microsoft offices here in New York City. And uh, we're going to have a conversation um, with Murat. And you know what, I, I, Murat, I'm sorry, I can never pronounce your last name. But he'll do it very, very nicely for you uh, in just a second. And we're going to talk about uh, the ER Accelerator Program, which was just recent, recently launched uh, here in New York City. Who are you, sir? My name is Murat Akhtanoglu. I'm, uh, I'm an engineer. So I started a couple of companies. And <coughs> I used to work in uh, Silicon Valley. I was at Silicon Graphics like uh, 12 years ago. And I moved to New York and I've been like working with startups and large companies like Sony, Panasonic, Logitech, uh, Pioneer and uh, AT&T. And then I went to Tokyo. I lived in Tokyo for two years. Wow. And I came back and started a location-based social network startup. And that's when we met. Central, yes, that's when we met. And then um, I also at the same time started like organizing those meetings called Entrepreneurs Roundtable. Sure. And the main idea was, you know, I went, uh, you know, like four, five years ago, there was nothing in New York. Like right. if you were doing a startup, you were on your own in the room. So I said, why don't we just a bunch of friends get together and just, you know, commiserate and let's talk about stuff. And then after a couple of meetings, I invited an investor, a VC. And that was an amazing meeting. That was very Who was the first investor you invited? Albert Banger from Unisquare Ventures. Sure. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's an amazing investor, plus, you know, he's, he's a very, very smart uh, person. He has a PhD from MIT. So that meeting was like 100 times more useful than our previous meetings with just entrepreneurs sitting around. So then we started inviting investors and then again Albert recommended to me, he said, why don't you have some startups pitch? And we were like, wow, that's an amazing idea. So we started having like picking five companies every month and having them pitch to the investor. And, and then the investor actually st investors started giving feedback. And that was super useful for like people who are in the audience watching the pitch and watching the feedback. And they were after the meeting, people are coming up to me and saying, "Wow, this is amazing! Now I know like I I'm, I learned a little bit today about how to pitch and what to talk about and what not to talk about and how to keep it short and what are the main points." And uh, so it started growing, word of mouth, and it's free, by the way. Like nobody has ever any, made any money from any excellent, especially for startups. Roundtable meetings, uh, we never charged anyone like two thousand dollars to pitch to anyone. So it was so it wasn't demo, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and it grew really organically, and then. After uh, I had an exit with Central, I was like thinking about some startup ideas, but then my friend Jonathan Axelrod and I, we were looking at all the companies pitching at the round table, and we realized in the last year the quality has really gone up mm, a lot. And we realized, you know, most of these companies were getting funded eventually. Like, eventually. not that they were getting funded because they pitched at the round table, but you know, they were getting funded eventually. So we said, hey, you know, there's something here. We have access to all these like early stage companies, great companies, mm -hmm. before they see any investors. You know, and then we ran like an informal mentorship program last year. And we said, hey, guys, you know, we'll just pair you up with a bunch of experts, like investors and angel investors and serial entrepreneurs and VCs. And we matched up like 35 to 50 startups with a mentor. Mm -hmm. Totally informal. There's no money exchange, nothing. It's totally volunteer basis. Maybe they bought the, each other coffee, but that program was super successful. So a lot of startups really enjoyed that. For example, Gate Guru Dan Gellert sure. was one of the matched startups, and he got a lot of a lot out of that relationship. So, and then investors and the startups and also people, the serial entrepreneurs, started telling us, "Hey guys, you know, why don't you do something?" Else? do something more substantial, like formal, structured, and this kept coming in and in and in, and then eventually, last summer, we said, okay, let's do it, you know, we started thinking about things, and at the time, you know, uh, it was still difficult to be a very, very early stage startup in New York City, mm -hmm. and then we started talking to people, and there was tremendous support, we got like 150 mentors including Fred Wilson, wow. Esther Dyson, Howard Morgan, David Pakman, you know, Brian Cohen, you know, John Frankel. Household names, not just here in New York, yeah. but everywhere, right? Yeah, so. I mean, we were like very 
amazed that you know this the amount of support and then we partner with ultra startups with grand mm -hmm. and also startup one stop and standard starts and girls in tech and also inside the graduates uh, sure. program at NYU and Columbia uh, we are full partners and also Microsoft actually a sponsor we are now in the Microsoft offices that, yes, that's great. I should yeah. mention we're here yes. actually tonight uh, for an ultralight startups event, um, and uh, we're in uh, the Microsoft offices, which are absolutely beautiful. I have to say, very nice. Yeah. It's amazing, and we also have many sponsors. Like we have uh, Silicon Valley Bank giving free banking to our startups. We have also uh, many other sponsors, like Manning Publications, is giving discounts to our startups. Now, just to be clear, because we haven't actually like been explicit right. about it, so right. Entrepreneurs Roundtable is now. Dun, 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 ER Accelerator. Right, so okay. Entrepreneurs Roundtable will keep on going. We have free events every month, and we do them in New York, in Turkey, in Japan, and also we're starting in India. But now we are going to have this accelerator program, ER Accelerator, in, starting in June, and uh, it's gonna, we're going to invest $25,000 into 10 startups, and we are really excited. We, I mean, we announced on Tuesday, and today we had like over 50 applications already. I can imagine. And some international applications as well. And the strength of the program is obviously the people. The right. people are involved. Our mentor list has not only VCs and angel investors, we also have subject experts. Like we have the best you know, user experience designers as mentors in our program. We are really excited. We have amazing PR firms. We have free legal services for all of our startups from Gunderson Detmer. Wow. And that's amazing. And also every week, uh, Gunderson Detmer is going to have office hours at the incubator helping any startup for free, which is like an amazing thing for a startup. And, also, and now, a any startup in general or just uh, those no, in the program? For those in the program. Yes. Okay, just checking because that's I mean, what, that would be great. from 10, <laughs> so we want to go <laughs> sure, sure. eventually. But, uh, so we are really excited. and. We're also going to have interns, fellows from Insight. Insight fellows are going to come to our incubator and help the startups. We are going to have our own interns from engineering schools. Mm -hmm. So if you're a startup and if you have like small tasks to be done, technical tasks, you can give them to our interns. They're going to do it. Great, gives them some good, some right. great experience early on. And then we are going to have uh, resident technologists. Uh, those are like amazingly skilled technical people. You know, they know everything through experience they've done a lot of stuff so if you're a startup and you're thinking should i use python or like you know ruby for this task they're gonna say do this or like they're gonna say what kind of database optimization should we do and they're gonna say like this so the whole idea is you know i i've been I, i'm an engineer so i run a startup a technology startup and i know what you need to help with most i mean mm -hmm. we have also uh, recruiters that are going to help our startups find more employees. Excellent. And also, my partner Jota Extra is an entrepreneur, and our third partner Charlie Kemper he's been a VC for 10 years. So we are covering all the bases, and plus we uh, interviewed many startups that came out of other incubators to learn the best things about other incubators, other programs. Oh, that's great. And we put together like a great list. And also, we got their suggestions about what else to do on, on top of those other great programs. And also, we had a survey and we asked like uh, 200 New York startups. We said, what's the most important thing for you for in, a, in an incubator? And we were expecting like, oh, money. Cash, and, right. Yeah. But amazingly, the most important thing people are looking for is help, domain expertise. They want help from someone who's an expert in their domain. Even if it's just as a sounding board. Right. Plus introductions and networking and business development. Sure. And after that comes uh, other things, like uh, I think after that comes cash and after that comes office space. But uh, I mean, we've been talking to some, uh, some great startups in the last couple of days, and they told us they are thinking about applying. They are applying to our program just to have access to the mentors, not because of the cash or the office space, but those are good things as well. But, yeah. It's a, it's a gr it's an amazing list. It is, yeah. and yeah. obviously they're all New York natives. So, and I'm a New York native, right. so I I recognize almost all of them. Immediately. Exactly. So, I mean, we are really excited. Uh, there's more uh, announcements coming up. Uh, we are going to have a 
we are going to have weekly happy hours with startups in New York City, so they can Great. ask us questions and we can tell them more about the program. Uh, Any announcements tonight? Um, no. I no. Mean, okay. The last two days have been very intense for us. We were on many publications. I'm sure. We, I mean, the, the response was just amazing. Our mentors also uh, told their network, so which was just amazing. And uh, we are really excited. I'm really excited because the biggest thing for me is, you know, this is the this is an amazing time to be an entrepreneur in New York City right now. To be a startup, this is an amazing time. So I'm really excited. And you know, looking forward to June. Yeah. Yes, I'm interested. I can't wait to see who's who yep. gets accepted. So, a couple, couple of I guess more like basic questions. Sure. So, where is the money coming from? Right. We have um, mostly angel investors. Okay. Who, who and they've committed to the program, yes. not necessarily to any specific company, but they've basically said that's right. They're going to help in the selection process. Exactly. Okay. It's almost like you saw our documents. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's, it's not rocket science, I guess, right. to, you know, if you have some semblance of right. how these things work. I have a little bit. Um, and so, uh, and then in terms of the mentor's time, obviously right. I look at these people and they're wonderful, yep. but they're all very successful exactly. and busy running companies. So exactly. how, how does that work? I mean, how, 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 yes. how, how much access are people really going to get to these people? Exactly. So that's a great question. So we have amazing names, but obviously those people are very <laughs> successful and very, very busy. So we thought about this a lot and we said, you know, we really want to make this program a big success. So we are going to pick 10 operating partners and we are going to give them part of the fund. So in return for their commitment, time commitment to the incubator. So mentors are volunteers. And okay. Most of them are very engaged. I mean, you look at other programs and those mentors are engaged and they help the startups a lot. But with your accelerator, every company will pick one operating partner that's full time with them, helping them, plus arranging access to 150 mentors for the startup. Okay, so the operating so, partner has has a discipline. Yeah. Hopefully, they're, of course, they're as well rounded as possible, but they probably all have a core discipline. And then it's up to that person to help gain access to the mentors in the program and and kind of herd the cats, as they say. Exactly, and plus, uh, it's a two-way matching system, so we do not assign like a sure. advisor to a startup. We let them pick each other. So uh, you know. I think uh, it's going to be great. Plus, we are going to have interns, we are going to have resident technologists, we are going to have uh, more help from the outside, we are going to have programs. But everything will be done one-on-one, -on -one, all the mentoring. So we are not going to have someone mentoring 30 people saying, work hard and you know, <laughs> you know preserve your cash flow, things like that. Right, right. We think that's great, but you know, every, all mentoring will be done one-on-one. -on -one. So you will never sit in a room and watch generic mentoring. That's great. Yeah, and to your point, there are certain rules to live by, which some of them you just stated. But right. you know, people want to get into their business and have someone you know roll up their sleeves and, and help them you know exactly. figure out the hard problems. Excellent. And so I'm noticing now there are some. In addition to ER Accelerator, there are some other ones popping up. So yeah. Owen Davis uh, from yeah. NYC Seed uh, right. has a program that's being started, and. Um, is that, to your point, is that just because it's a good environment right now and so people are saying, you know what, let's make it an even better environment and take advantage of it? Exactly. Actually, um, I was talking to one of our mentors who's very famous and he said to me, this, like, the more the better because right now is really, really a great time to be a startup in New York City. There's so much support from the community. Yes. So if you're a good entrepreneur, if you have a good idea, chances are you'll, you will be successful. And I'm really excited about that actually, because like that's one of my big things that um, when we when I first started uh, around like in the last four or five years with the roundtable, we've been trying to do this mm -hmm. uh, to bring the environment to a position where you know every you know every good entrepreneur gets the support that they deserve. So I think now we're there. So it's really exciting. 
I have to say it is, uh, in my mind, it's great to see this kind of support at this level. Um, I've been involved in venture-backed startups since the beginning of the internet boom, um, and uh, it just wasn't there. You know, yep. you could you could get you know big money, right? No one, but no one wanted to focus so much on the early stage. Yep. Now to see s much smaller amounts of capital, because you need smaller amounts of capital, right. which is great, right. thanks to you know cloud services and yada yada yada, right? Um, but it's nice to see that coming into the market because yeah, there'll be there'll be failures, but. You know, you're really helping these these fledgling companies take it to a level where they can they can start to see some success. Exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Oh, um, I really great. appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and by chance, by the way, just so, so the yeah. power of social networking, yeah. right? The, the only reason I had actually known this had occurred because you changed something on your LinkedIn profile, <laughs> and I reached yes. out to you. So you yes, have that's to. Amazing. By the way, our website is ERA. Oh, thank you. I was going to put it on screen, but that's perfect. So thank you. So please apply and. Uh, we have amazing sponsors, so we'll have great things coming up. We'll yes. We're going to announce amazing things soon. So Excellent. Please apply. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Thanks so much.